Yo, my people, we're here. We're back. This is the Battle Rap Show, episode five. I am Professor Banner, aka Hulk. Today, I got a co-host with me. I just said, you know what? Sometimes it gets a bit lonely at the top, so you got to bring the man then with you. You get me, man? Like Chuck. Come on, come on, MLC. Um, today we got another special. Get all of my guests are special, or every single one of you, bro. Don't ever forget that. But today we got someone. He's come. This is the thing, like the battle rap show, bro. I had Copacetic on my first show from Canada. Like it's like man just doing international now. Do you get it? So this show we got someone from Chicago. I first came across this guy through No Coast. That league is bullshit. Fuck that league. But big facts. That's my that's that's my that's my bros over there. If you know the history from King of the Ronalds and KOTR and No Coast, we've always been brothers, like a, a, a brother and brother and brother league. No brother and sister shit, because that's just wrong. None of us are the girls. No Coast is probably the girl if it's a sister league. But I'm mad at that. Um, yeah, obviously I battle, and then we seen him on the King of the Dark Grand Prix and shit. So it's just big levels, big steps. We got the bro XQZ. What are you saying, my bro? Yeah, X- XQZ. XQZ. When we out here, right? Out here yeah, England, Chicago, Steve, man. That. No coast. Happy to be here, my man. Come on, bro. Um, so yeah, like really, firstly, like, well, talk us through like how the fuck you even got into battle rap and that, bro. Like, why did you decide that you wanted to say horrible stuff to <laughs> other men in a room full of majority other men? Yeah, that go, that goes back <laughs> that goes back a long That's way. A man. Word. Majority. Uh, majority. The majority of other men. Hey, I'm, I'm glad you asked that because the the UK battle rap has a lot to do with that. I mean, we could go way back. Like, I just you know when I was like 10, 11 years old, and I started getting into hip hop. I always like, I first like gravitated towards like like diss tracks and shit. Like, I was always just really into that because I don't know. I think when I was like 11 years old, like a lot of Hip hop music, I couldn't like really re- relate to, but like anyone can relate to, like, you know, uh, you made it a hotline, I made it a hot, like, you can, anyone can relate to just like I making guess. fun of someone yeah. and just talking shit about someone. So I feel like I gravitated towards that. And then, you know, as like the internet became more of a thing, I just would kind of look for any battle rap content I could. And, and the first one that I, I saw that really stuck with me. Uh, a bit of a throwback. It was Iron Solomon versus uh, a UK legend, uh, Mike Assassin. Come on. And uh, so I'm about to tell this guy. About to tell this guy. He looks like John Goodman on a sack Big of potatoes. Or, yeah, yeah. I would love to see him return to battling. But uh, yeah, I just like I don't know the the way like because before that I had only seen like you know off the top battles like over beats and it's like which was entertaining but there was like such a difference in you know when someone's like fully prepared and, and writing like super layered verses. And I, I was just kind of hooked on it. And, you know, we've kind of watched the the scene grow from there, but that was kind of the, the roots of it. I just was always a fan. And, um, you know, later on, I actually jumped in the ring and here we are, you know, decades what, later. What was your first battle? My first battle was uh, against this guy who, who went by the name of Bilbo Baggins. Uh, I, it was, uh, Fucking up. yeah, this, this was a weird story too. Cause it was, so it was on no coast. Um, so when I moved into, when I started a uh, college, I, st- I went to, uh, this college in Missouri, which, you know, is just basically for those who don't know, it's like right in the absolute middle of nowhere in, in America. It's like surrounded by like farm towns and, and shit. It's just kind of a random we town. See it, like you see in films and shit. Yeah. Where it's like, they move from the big city. They say, we're moving to Missouri. Yeah, you know, exa- like, exactly. They're all upset and shit. Cause they ain't got no friends and now they got to learn how to fly ducks and stuff. You yeah, know, pretty much. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fly ducks. I swear there's literally a film like that. I don't know if it's Missouri, but the chick moves and she flies ducks and that. Isn't it? I remember that. Wizard of Oz, isn't it? <laughs> that's wild um yeah i mean I, there was not there was not much else to do so you know i was either gonna i was either gonna battle rap or fly ducks those were like the only two <laughs> options and um conveniently like i uh do you remember like back in the early days when there was like rapmusic.com and like yeah, those yeah, so um i was like i was on that and someone posted like battle rap event in columbia missouri next week which is like the town i was in which Back then, like, there weren't leagues in every city, so it was really weird that there'd be, like, an event in the middle of nowhere. So I'm like, all right, I got I to gotta try this out. So, um, yeah, this I battled this guy named Bilbo Baggins who was just this, like, local guy who would show up to open mics and, and shit, and it was, like... At Where a is pu- he now? Where's Bilbo now? 
Probably still, probably still in Missouri, flying ducks, man. He's 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 flying ducks, and uh, yeah, he got he got banished to whatever. I can't remember the fucking movie, but whatever, however that movie ends. Um, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was kind of a you know a light little uh, little thirty piece, and then you know just just stuck with it from there. But uh, yeah, it was like in a park in front of ten people, and I don't think I could have really started any other way because I definitely would have been like terrified to, to get on a stage uh, and, and you know in front of hundreds of people like we do now but it was, it was kind of a nice way to like ease into it no, of course of course what would you say is like your pivot or like your battle your biggest battle that you've done like that experience that made you said you know what I'm a battle rapper now blood I probably when uh actually the first time I battled in London because I that was like my fourth or fifth battle ever i came out here and i battled uh matter on don't flop and this was like this was like 2010 um and yeah i had just started i had no idea what i was doing and you know i it it wasn't it wasn't a great performance you know by by those standards or by today's standards but just the fact that like you know i went from like you know did my first couple battles in missouri to you know flying overseas and you know doing that and you know, turned out to be against someone who ended up being a, you know, kind of a, a vet and a, a legend in the UK, you know, matter. So it was, it was a really cool experience that I probably didn't even fully appreciate at the time. Yeah, no, fair enough, bro. Um, did I pay you? Uh, he, he would have if I won, but uh, yeah, he, he was, he was paying me per round I won. So yeah, not, not on that one. Oh, fuck her, bro. <laughs> Tell him get the money up, bro. Get the money up, man. Nah. Um. So obviously, like, more jump to more recent times. Like, you was in the KOTD Grand Prix. Like, how did that come about? Like, what did you get? An email? Did you get a message? Like, how did the opportunity pop up? Because that for me, that was a massive opportunity. And like I said, I feel good that people like you, who's been putting the work in from time, it's like it's it kind of paid off when 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 i saw your name come up in the grand prix kind of thing so how did that come about like how did you get involved yeah i, w- I was pretty surprised to be invited to that to be honest just because like i hadn't uh you know i had battled on king of the dot like once before that and i hadn't really worked with them in a while and yeah just kind of out of nowhere i had just battled uh mad flex on on i battle and like two weeks later i got a, a text from from goalie just you know they had started like promoting the the tournament and everything so i you know i figured it was like it was already set and then he you know invited me to the it was the detroit division and uh yeah that was that was sort of a a game changer which is weird to say because at that point i'd already been like you know over a decade deep in battle rap but still like you know just goes to show like new opportunities still pop up no matter how long you you've been in it so man that was uh that was a challenge that was like a lot of the the toughest competition i've ever been against but it was a it was a really cool and uh in, you know innovative format that they did with that and you were you were judging those joints right yeah definitely yeah. yeah man i remember judging your battle um i think it was again i think with me i think the path the, the pathogenic battle was that from that or was that another of it no that, that was, the, stay forever, that was right? a stay forever yeah which battle was it on um Oh, that I judged. I can't. I'm trying to think of what battle I actually judged, bro. I watched the pathogenic battle the other day. Yeah, before, I think fun. I know, and I don't want to. I feel like I keep bringing up battles I got smoked in, but it, I think it was against uh, M City. Oh, and possibly, uh, yeah, yeah, and he, he kind of took but off. You know what it is as well. I think I remember going back to what I said, and I, we kept getting told off as judges. We had this conversation with Copa Setting when he was on the show. I kept getting told off because I weren't allowed to use my opinion too much. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It had to be like very. Uh, factual about chokes and shit like that so it was very hard but for me it was the fact that it was the delivery and this is the thing like don't get it twisted yeah I see you as a conversational battle rapper it's mad that I've started categorizing types of battle rappers in my head but you are conversational so what he means is I don't really rap no you talk (laughs) no but you talk to them you have a conversation with your opponent and you're telling you're explaining something to them do you get me where it's like certain people just shout at them or just diss them, but yeah. you're telling the whole conversation about how, you know, why you're a dickhead and this is what you did and this is how it happened. And it's like, you're having a, like a talk to them. Do you get me? Yeah. And when people say talk to them, you're literally talking. Yeah. To them. And it took me a while to, to even get to that. Cause I feel like for, for a long time, I, even in the, even in that battle, I was trying to do some of that, but also some like, punching and you know what kind of what's more like the popular style and i think just getting more like comfortable with yeah just having that like conversational style that's 
I've, I've kind of benefited from just owning that instead of trying to, you know, do something that's not as, as natural to me. When you look at people, like, I, I'm not going to lie. So I predicted that Shotty Horror would beat Shuffle T in it. But again, like, he has mastered that style, like, where, again, it's a similar sort of style, isn't it? Not to, com- you know, comparison is a thief of joy. I love that quote, but mm-hmm. it's true, isn't it? Like, not to compare you, to take away from you, but at the same time, um, it's that similar style where Shuffle T does have conversations with his opponent. He even gets on the phone and has conversations. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm and saying? He kinda, like, he's like, yeah, and he kind of, like, he's, he's very aware of that and even, like, harps on it in the battle. Like, he'll talk about... Um, you know, he every battle I feel like he talks about how he's like more original and everyone else just does kind of the same thing. And I feel like it's, you know, even against some even against a legend like Shoddy, it's like he Shuffle's approach was just so like it's so creative and outside the box. You just you remember it more, even if you know, yeah. even if the, his opponent's rapping like crazy, it, you, you just remember kind of the weird antics, but still really genius no, concept i'm a huge fan of shuffle for that reason of course so, i know you're yeah. not i know you're obviously meant to say your friends because this is what battle rap is but who's your favorite battle rapper ever of all time and that's always going to be uh it's always going to be pat's day rest, rest in peace, in peace man. Pat's I mean, that, day, man. uh that's that's why it it meant so much to be part of that uh stay forever event because i never unfortunately i never got to meet him we never were, were at the same event or anything same, but same. um he was just a huge influence because he i feel like no one better than him represented this, you know, having a unique style and not really, you know, catering to what's popular. And he could really go to anywhere in the world, any room and like connect and win the room over and connect with them. It didn't matter, yeah. you know, who, where it was. So no, I, yeah. definitely, I feel like even hit, like with us in the UK, he was our hero as well. Like we were proud of Pat's day. Like you get me, he was like one of, uh, honorary member of, of us in it. So like that was big in it. Like I said, I never met him. I think he came here a few times and, like I don't get to, as I was saying outside, I've got kids and shit, so I don't get to every single event and shit. I've got a real life and stuff, but it's nice to get to events and meet people. But it's sad that I never got to actually meet Pat at an event. Um, so yeah, before the show as well, like um, I was saying to you, like if you tasted the Rubicon and that, right? Like, these <laughs> men have these men have brought you to the UK. You battled Matt, or you battled Crafty. Yeah, yeah. Did you smoke him? That one didn't go so. I'm really not selling my my battle career well right now. Crafty's we, we, moist, but I'm not gonna lie. I reckon you smoked him. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that one anyway. Trust me. Like, yeah, I, yeah. No, I thirty crafty for oh, sure. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I ain't even watched that, and I think you won, bro. Yeah, I hey, appreciate it. Everyone knows that. Yeah, but yeah. These man. So you've been out here since 2010, did you say? Yeah, those are, those are the only two times I've been out here. And These men have had him out here and they've never made him taste Rubicon blood. Let me tell you something. I've never man. even heard of it. Bruv, the man's never heard of Rubicon. I'm pretty sure that now, yeah, um, Coca-Cola or Pepsi or one of them own it, but this is an Indian drink, yeah? Okay. I know the owner's brother. I don't know him, but I've met him. I've met the owner's brother, yeah? And I've met the owner briefly, but not properly. But basically, I this was... It's by Bar. It's owned by Bar. Yeah, it's owned by Bar now, but Bar's big as well. They're, not, they're Scottish. No, that says ball or something, bro. Anyway. It's AG bar. Um, That's Ayabra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm, yeah, it's bar. Um, So, yeah, but basically this was made by an Indian guy who was in college at the time. And obviously in England, they just had normal drinks. They didn't have like imported mangoes and stuff at the time. So his parents were importing fruits and he was blending up fruits and taking it to school. So obviously they made the juices at first then they made the fizzy drinks. Obviously you don't have to... um, what one would you like to bust? Us? Passion, f- passion fruit or mango? Hey, let's let's go. Pa- let's always live with passion, man. Let's go. That is the nicest one in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm yeah. A light to you, bro. There's so many though, but in my opinion, the, the passion. Fruit they didn't have all the flavors. But. So it was just like all tea and water, and then these guys came Ooh. along and like brought some yeah, brought some flavor yeah, here. Yeah. Bro, we got some. Yeah, uh, London, like I was saying to Copacetic as well. Like London, our <laughs> culture is a mishmash of cultures, isn't it? So. Mm-hmm. But it's just a Cheers. it's like a Fanta or you know what I mean, a soda or whatever, but it's just basically yeah, it's fruit based, like probably, yeah. like not no synthetic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're not allowed to use a lot of it. Well, I think since Brexit we're allowed to use more because the European Union was a lot of the laws. But technically we're not allowed to use a lot of the chemicals and shit in our shit that you you lot use. So Yeah, that's what you'll the, probably live longer since you've That's been what people there. told me, yeah. They said it, it would be like you know, everything's like less processed and yeah. also the portions aren't like, you know, yeah. out of control. So might I've been like just walking around drinking pints and i'd still feel like i'm not you know getting getting too out of shape so i might just might just stay here depends what pints you're drinking bro stay away from the tenants and the kestrels and that them and the 10 percent and all okay and i'm gonna stick to rubicon from now on come on man. 
Special room. Where also, do we go? Te- where do I go? Tesco? Where do I where do I get this from? Mostly corner shops still. <laughs> All leading retailers. Doing, yeah, they started doing it in the supermarkets. Okay. Oh, Food we're looking for that sponsorship though. What do you like? Salt and vinegar? Ready salted or cheese and onion, bro? Oh, uh, let's just let's let's go with the original. I'm a, I'm original. a with this one. It's basically yeah. just salted, isn't it? Like it's slightly Salt. salted. Red oh, ones. Okay. Yeah, little hoop. Oh. These are a staple in British pack lunches and that. Do you yep. get me? See, when you went to school and that, proper things, I'm telling you. She didn't have hula hoops, but we just yeah, haven't had some good crisps since I got here, man. Monster Munch. Oh, in it to eat them, like you have that. to put them on your fingers, innit? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. You have, you have that's to, like, that's use that's them that's as that's rings, that's put that's them on each of your fingers. Yeah, we're going to get the Michael Jordan this was look the first here, one on this it. Yeah, now you have to do it. girls' rings and that as well. Championship rings. Let's go. If you ever propose to a girl with that, then you eat them off your fingers, isn't it? It was that little thing when we was kids. Even the cameraman's you nodding. You, know, you, you lot me. can't yeah. see this, but yes, yeah, that's the way to do I'm it. Loading, I'm loading up. You can't no. eat them. With, yeah, come on, <laughs> my guy knows, man. I'm saying. Straight from Chicago, Shy Rack. <laughs> you done now? Straight into the hula hoops. Yeah. Gang shit, man. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about Chicago drill music, man. You guys invented drill. Now UK drill is taking over the world, isn't it? Come on, man. No, I'm enjoying my hula hoops. That's the conversation not to be had when you're eating hula hoops, man. Don't disturb the hula hoops. Yeah. Don't, don't start drilling while I'm hula hooping. <laughs> it's one or the other, man. Can't draw and hula hoop at the same Come time. On. And you know what, as well, we got to finish it off by offering man a penguin. You got to taste the penguin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I should have got the, the mint ones and the ones that bang. Even with hula hoops, the barbecue flavor are the best, but they didn't have them. Penguins, it's all about a mint penguin. Yeah, I really did. Yeah, no, hula hoops are a good little snack still, bro. It's like they get, you guys have like Cheetos out here. Yeah, like yeah, It's like yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, like yeah, less, yeah. like I'd feel less gross nah, after nah. it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah, Cheetos. They're, they're yeah. We shit. have Cheetos, but it's recent. You see Hershey's, oh, okay. Cheetos and Reese's, how they're all in so the shops. They wasn't when we were young. Yeah, Don't even like the, the, the American things weren't about. I've, I've heard of that, but no, what's I haven't. What's was our had Cheetos? Oh, okay. What's yeah. Yeah. Cheetos? So that's right. a penguin. They ain't got quavers, That's either. a little chocolate biscuit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Don't have, obviously, I'm not going to force you to eat I'm all on camera, to, but yeah, have a, have a bite. Oh, they've got a joke on them. Each penguin has a joke on it, bro. Each penguin has a joke on it. Read the joke, bro. You're a battle rapper, bro. Steal them. Americans won't know about this thing. You can rob them. literally what was built. Don't Flop was built on penguins. Yeah. You see the Shuffle T Rhyming Dictionary? My man's basically <laughs> just read bare penguin bars. Right. I'm being serious. Hey, why why do penguins stay in pairs? Why? Freezer crowd. Okay, freezer crowd. Yeah, freeze. Yeah, yeah get it. So oh, free, oh, see that? Yeah, you need like the accent yeah, yeah, to make yeah. that work. Freezer crowd. Freezing. Ah, this shit's fire though. But yeah, that was cool as well. I think that was a good marketing thing, isn't it? In school, like they give you a penguin and you got a joke in it as well, like. Trust me. There used to be jokes on the lolly sticks as well, innit? Remember the, the ice lolly yeah, sticks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, on the stick itself. Yeah, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That's an unlocked memory, bro. Trust me, bro. Fucking hell, man. You saying about yeah. the orange penguin? Yeah. Fuck with it. Yeah? Yeah, I wasn't, re- I, I, I wasn't ready for the orange part, but yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah, solid. Yeah. Americans oh, yeah. don't have much chocolate orange. Yeah, we do a lot of orange chocolate yeah, over here still. And they don't have biscuits. Yeah, we don't mix they the healthy stuff with the yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I was against it at first as well. Then I fell in love with carrot oh, cake. Not bad, carrot man. cakes. I love carrot yeah, cake, yeah. man. I was like, I don't like carrots. Oh, I love this cake. You know what it was? I was like, yo, that shit blew my fucking mind. Um, but yeah, so you're here in the UK. you got a battle coming up, yeah? Yeah, yeah, uh, coming up in September, man. Uh, debuting on uh, on, you guys say it like premiere, right? Premier. We can't say premiere. Premier. We can't. <laughs> Gotta say I don't, premier. I don't want to offend. Yeah, yeah. Debut on on uh, on premiere battles. Uh, me and uh, Black T battling in uh, in Liverpool. Big opportunity for Black T. I'm not gonna lie. He's quite new. He's he's an up and comer. He's he's, he's nice though. Man. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, he's decent. He's I'm shit. Chuck <laughs> said he's shit. Yeah, you heard it first. Fucking shit, man. Heard it hey, who, first too. who's 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 like the who's your favorite out here? Like who who should anyone like except, like, like, anyone like except Black T? Like yeah, yeah, Mike <laughs> Assassin. Like yeah. Now the best rapper, the best battle rapper of all time is Pedro. Yeah, no. that's hey, I'm, I'm agreed. That, Pedro so. is the num- he is the greatest battle rapper of all time. I'm sorry, but he's the best to ever do it. Best ever. Persian leopard mixed with the German shepherd. Yeah, there you oh, go. The Umbro sign. Your mom's got a tattoo with <laughs> yeah. Umbro sign. That's that's uh, a do you not have Umbro out there. I think it's there. I don't. Like I don't think it, it's not it's big, but yeah, I, I, yeah, it's like out there. But I don't. Yeah, of I don't see it much. Made by Umbro, probably, but yeah, probably like what the, them dead sports that you lot play, like lacrosse and shit like okay. that. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a British thing. <laughs> no, but they play it in America in the posh schools. Oh, there, I swear. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, on the, yeah, team. yeah. On the West Coast, leave me alone, yeah. Brad. I'm on the lacrosse team. What yeah. the fuck is a lot of people that a lot of people that look and sound like me play lacrosse? Yeah, but I was never any good at it. Disney High School. Disney High School Musical. Yeah, Disney High School. Corbin B. We'll roll with it. So yeah, um, you're battling Black T. Um, 
Are you got any battles coming up in the in, in America and that, back home? Uh, yeah, nothing else booked because I'm I'm gonna be in Europe for for the next three months. So I've kind of been uh, taking a little break after the the Stay Forever event. Um, you know, got married, did some real life things, and you know now uh, big up your wife as well. Met her earlier. Yeah, yeah she's lovely, she's lovely lady. here somewhere. Yeah, beautiful woman, lovely lady. Yeah, shout out to Nothing Marissa. Blessings and manners to that. Yes. Um, but yeah, so that's like, all my bars too. Yeah, standard. Got to have the ghostwriter man behind every good battle. But yeah, um, and then I don't even know if I mean cut this out if I can't say this, but uh, I got a Urgis hit me up the other day about uh, about some you know like the following week after that event. So I, I'm 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 glad he did because I was going to today. So yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to I don't want to go down a whole like rabbit hole, but like it seems like there's weird like competition between those there the leagues and is, everything. But it doesn't but exist because when if you look at it, you see like shuffle T, this one that one they're on both leagues regularly. It doesn't matter if you're if 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 the leagues are happy to have you and they're grateful to have you. If you're like a struggling up and comer who's looking for a plate and you like pledge allegiance then i think it's a little bit different but mm -hmm. if you're kind of already established and at the end of the day don't flock gave you the plates before so you know like it's not like you're snaking premier battles by going back on don't flock but you know i think you just gotta either be above it or not i think people like o'shea uh not maybe not even o'shea because he ain't battled on don't flock but um shuffle t and them and i think they're a bit above it still yeah but yeah i think we should all rise above it man Battle rap's a community. Isn't yeah, it? I've always, I've always, uh, I, I haven't followed it like close enough to really know like all the backstories. Do but you it, guys have I, league beefs and shit at home? Like? Yeah, definitely. I mean, not so much. The people hate no coast. Like. I mean, everyone hates. <laughs> no, I, hey, I hate no coast. Man, what, that league is you, bullshit. Would you say but, you've got a home league? Is it no coast? I about all. Uh, I, no coast is definitely always going to be the home. I mean, that's where I got my start, and it. Uh, you know, I've, I was the I was the the champ of that league for for a long time for whatever that's worth, and you know, it's just uh, and God, it's that I'm trying to think like how many I I, I rarely go like uh, you know a year without battling on Noco, so I'm there like so regularly. But um, yeah, I've also like had some great uh, you know some great times that I battle, and you know, I really at this point in in my like battle rap journey, it's it's more than anything i just want to like travel and you know get to new cities and and new leagues so um but yeah no coast is always home for sure oh, i hear that i hear that i like to ask all my guests a special question yeah i've looked around i think your wife's out of the room so i'm safe to ask you who's your celebrity crush bro i feel like this is such a cliche and i would probably say well Nicki minaj comes to mind but i feel like that's such like a cliche like predictable answer Trying to think of like a more like outside the box one. You know, like someone that you would just love the opportunity to even just, you know what I mean? Just be in the presence kind of thing. But that woman that you've grown up maybe f like fantasizing about. I don't know. It don't have to be necessarily current. It could be. Don't have to be a celebrity, like a model or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, who's that woman that that? Battle obviously, rapper. not no one comes above your wife. Obviously, you're married, man. You get me. But who's that little kind of crush that you had? Maybe you get me growing up. Like that was that fantasy that like, you might have yeah. knocked one out to. So I'm gonna way. yeah. So I'm gonna say my wife. So then edit this. So I said that course, first before course, Nicki Minaj, obviously. and then make it so I say Nicki Minaj afterwards. Uh, like as obviously. like a like second best. So let's say like pre-married Steve. Right. Yeah. Young young Steve. He's he he's gets young Steve. offered. <laughs> Offered an opportunity by Nicki Minaj, but she says, "Look, you can sleep with me, Steve." Yeah, but I mean, I, th the thing about it is, like, I my dream, like, you know, collaboration on like a on a track is to is to rap with Drake. So I don't want to like piss him off and that you know, because and and make no, him like jealous. And shit. That. This is young this Steve. This is teenage Steve. But fair. like a chick like Nicki Minaj walks into your bedroom. You ain't got no attachments, no no allegiance, nothing. She says to you, Steve, listen, you can do it, but my brother's got to watch. What are you saying? Isn't her brother like a like a, a, a convicted? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you saying? Are you doing it? Yeah, probably that that might be that might be over the line. I'm not. I, well, but you're you're saying when I was like when I was like 16 or something, yeah. or that's that would make her in a, a a convict too. But oh no, not I guess I'm not in the UK. I'm but um, yeah. Me at 16, oh, I probably, okay. yeah, probably wouldn't say no to damn near anybody. <laughs> what, even while I brother watches? He's like, fuck it. High five with him and that. I'd regret it. I'd, you know, I'd, I'd hate He's myself He's having a rap battle it, with Donnie when he fucks his sister. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you look like a waste man in the corners. <laughs> 
What was that accent? You need to stop doing it. Chucky needs to stop doing that. Don't let Chucky That's do that. Accent. And, and he stopped doing alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> 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 nah, I always I ask people their celebrity crush and then try and put a fucked up spin on it and see if they would. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. Crush, you, you've yeah, you throw me off. Yeah. You you, you committed. You're, you're committed. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> Most men are turning them down. Like I'm like, are you turning down your your fantasy crush, bro? Like, don't make sense. Yeah, but I feel like I'm gonna regret. A, a lot of what I just said, like looking back on this, but nah. it's out there now. So nah, you know, definitely, bro. I that's staying in, by the way. Yeah, man. yeah. that is hundred percent staying in. This Tag was, at this, Nicki Minaj. Man. This was a canon yeah. event. This is that's getting talk. added at your missus inbox. She's gonna be shocked. She had bro, no idea this I was a this fan is of her. The start of the yeah, this is it. Revelation. This yeah. is it, bro. Man, we only like two weeks in too. Oh, you We're arguing at home because you ain't done the dishes yet. Yeah? I bet you wouldn't do that to Nicki Minaj's brother. Trust Trust you. <laughs> Welcome to the Shit Stirring Podcast, hey, episode bro. one. Episode one of Shit Stirring. <laughs> Gang shit, man. We've got an American guest to, to do the mad thing, innit? So I say to you right now, I, got, I, got, I line up a battle for you. Any battle in the world, yeah? Like any battle in the world, I've got the budget. Or organic, not me. Organic says to you, bro, listen, next event coming up. Steve, you smashed it. I want to put on the big bucks for you and line you up with anyone you want in the world. Who would it be? It don't even have to be an active battler. Could be an artist, whatever. Who are you battling? I'm I'm waiting to see if there's like a like a fucked up part of nah, the question nah, nah, that you was add the to it. No, this is a real, question. I okay. ask. I always ask right, that fucked up question. But yeah, this is this is also you know what it would be. It would be uh, it'd probably be against uh, Iron Solomon, um, one of the the greatest of all time, and uh, one of I mean the person who i who really like got me into battle rap and there you know we've always had this like not that it really matters but just being both being jewish battle rappers which is a pretty rare thing to come across uh um, rare are you sure bro i can, so con. I, I can think of like four so, so con i reckon so con all of these are undercover jewish like roan roan is definitely <laughs> jewish underneath yeah roan's definitely jewish sharon like, is definitely jewish underneath yeah. that's that's a valid point like, i mean the fact that like brothers, any of us me, Ron, and Sharon could all walk into the room and say we're each other, and you wouldn't know who's who. I guess that, I guess that counts for something. No, definitely. Um, but yeah, bro. Like, um, so yeah, I don't even uh, like what. What? How did you? How did you? You rated the Rubicon. You rated the Hulu. These man, it showed you these stuff in London. Like, I don't even know what's going on, bro. How have you been here so many times and you haven't actually tasted the? Ah, it's just it's just like what's tea, been your favorite food. It's like tea and fish London? and chips every time. Uh, actually, though, every time every Indian spot we go to has been been amazing. I'm trying to think where we went we'll the other night. Earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. talk about this earlier. I don't really eat like wet food, like curries and shit from takeaways because I'm a bit suspicious here. But I said India is my favorite, and he said, "What do you get then?" And I said, "The tandoori chicken with the mixed grill. You see the chops and the chicken and the, ooh, the pilau rice, a bit of paneer." Lovely, bro. Indian food in the UK bangs because we got authentic Indians, bro. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I always I just get like tika masala, which is the, like the most like I'm like, not gonna lie. See, you see in America, yeah, I need to like branch out a little bit more. I think <laughs> it might be Hollywood, maybe, yeah. But my perception of the Indians in America, like they're not thorough Indians the way that we've got Indians in the UK, Facts. bro. In London, Facts. like our Indians, or you've got bare fresh Facts. Indians, bro. They're walking now Southall, bro. We like, got communities foot. full of Indians. Yeah, like literally yeah, yeah. Southall, like little India is yeah. like they're selling sweet corn on the corner and like, little cups and that. You get me? Yeah. yeah. You guys have that in America, like just corn. Yeah, we ha well, we have like there'll be like food trucks that'll have it's it's uh it's called a lote. It's like Mexican like street oh, corn, yeah, so it's got yeah. like all sorts of different like spices and like okay. it's got like a, a oh that's like, like on a stick in a giant thing it's of butter. Stick, yeah, on a yeah, stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's just fire. It's but got like some red shit on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 it's like uh, paprika or something. Yeah, that's it. You're from yeah. like Chicago, but are you from like a like specifically like white black? What kind of area is your area? Yeah, so I, I grew up in uh, in an area called Deerfield. It's it's like the it's a suburb. So yeah, it's a uh, um, pretty like pretty predominantly white, actually pretty predominantly Jewish area. It's like probably like twenty miles north of uh, of the city. And then uh, yeah, I was in so I grew up there. Then I was in uh, Missouri for a couple of years. So out in out in duck flying land. And then uh, now I'm back. Well, now I'm nowhere i'm in i'm in europe now but um you know when we move back i'll be in the in the actual city of chicago um you know we've we i was i've lived on different neighborhoods on on the north side um but yeah i've just kind of bounced all over the city and now we're out here exploring and yeah then i'll then i'll be back but um yeah love it love it out there 
My bro, as I said, like I was trying to explain to Steve and Zane earlier, old tight Zane has right in the back. Yeah, he's on the next episode. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to say my show's budget friendly and that I'm paying by the hour out here, so I'm trying to keep things. You get me to a certain. But listen, if you don't want to sponsor, if you don't want to see longer episodes, if you want to get involved, let me know in the comments if I should do a Patreon. I've only got five hundred odd subscribers, so I don't know how down for me you lot really are in it. So I need some. Give me what? a sign if you want to rewind and all of them things. There, you get me. Um, but yeah, old tight everyone. Big up Steve for for, for pulling up, bro. Like, um, yeah, thank you for having me, man. I, I hope you don't mind. I keep calling you Steve. Like we're on first name. That's basis, my name. Yeah, know. absolutely. But yeah, um, no, nah, thank you for coming, man. Where can they find you at, man? Plug your shit. What's happening next? You got any shit out that you want them to see? What promote your? This is your time, bro. Promote your things, bro. Yeah, at, look at at Steve XQZ on Twitter, Steve, on Instagram, Steve, on TikTok, him, all the above. Um, and yeah, no, Steve. Uh, and Steve, what's that? Steve and that man. In, in, in England, in London, we say and that sometimes. And that, okay. Like Steve and that. And they call. You've got to have a D. Like and that, it's called that. It's and that, okay. Yeah, yeah Steve and that. Well, it's funny because my my last name is actually uh, Ennit, which so I always say yeah, like in it, real. like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I fit right in. It's man like Steve in it. Steve in it. Yeah. It's man like Steve in it. Might be the new. That might be it. While I'm out here, I'm just. That's the new state. Yeah. No more excuse me. I'm Steve in it. Um, and they say like Ste for sort for Steve, right? That's up north. That's, that's up north. north. Okay, that's north. That, but you yeah, mentioned Steve with O'Shea and the man. Steve is short for Stephen. The North yeah, yeah, is lazy. Yeah, yeah. They shorten the shorten already. So yeah, that's like, crazy. Yeah, stay. Um, yeah, but at Steve XQZ <laughs> and all that on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, XQZ versus Black T on Premier Battles in September, and maybe another one after that. We shall see. Chuck, subscribe. The Chuck EP, all of that. Big up these man here. Gang shit 12 we Bang That's it man Make sure you're subscribed Tell your mama said safe All of the goodness Yes Easy in the blood